we're at that time of the year right now where nothing really much is going on with the NFL. Free agency has passed, the draft has passed, and right now we're in a limbo, especially with this whole coronavirus thing going on. There's nothing really to talk about, but we found five topics that we're going to talk about here on this new episode of Time to Football. We thank you guys so much for joining us. Football, football, football. You know, you got to do it. You got to do it. My name is Hassan Khan. I am the host of this show. We've got a co-host joining us here today, the beautiful (laughs) Anthony. That's a (laughs) rewind. Let's think of a new word for that. Um, The... Marvelous, the wonderful, okay, okay. the manly. Wow, Anthony Duvernay. What Dude. an introduction, bro! I right here, bro. I appreciate that, dude. I had I had to give you props. I had to give you the proper intro because uh, when you came in, you were like, "Bro, you're dressed up so nice." That, that is. I didn't figure. I gotta wear a top button. It's a thing on time to football. I always wear a top button. Okay, uh, but dude, I think you look wonderful. I Thanks, think you bro. fit the part. Uh, for the audience at home, this is your first appearance on any time of football video. For the audience at home, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, okay. Um, what's up? My name is Anthony Duvernay. Um, proud friend of my man Hassan here. And um, what, 26 years old from Long Island, New York. Wow. I like Spumoni ice cream. Um, <laughs> that's just a New York thing. And... I always order the the chicken tender um, pub sub from Publix. That's a good one. And then they'll they'll have deals occasionally where it's five ninety nine for the, the yes. You can't beat that. Can't you got it? You got to jump on that. You can't beat that. So Publix, if you're listening to this right now, we are looking for a sponsor. So that'd uh, be great. Where shopping yes. is a pleasure, dude. Helping us pay the pay the bills. I love it. I got you. If you're watching this video on YouTube, know that we have this whole podcast on iTunes because if you don't want to watch an hour-long video on YouTube, that makes sense. But vice versa, if you're listening to this podcast on iTunes, Mm -hmm. you can go on ahead and go over to YouTube Mm -hmm. and go to youtube.com slash time to football. Subscribe to us on there. We got many more videos on there. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that introduction, Anthony. I'm excited to talk to you about these specific topics and and – Frankly, one of these topics is very controversial, and I thought, let's start off the show, get right into it, because this controversy could separate us for the rest of the show. It could hinder like the friendship between us, because we may disagree. Wow. That's... It's, it's that controversial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whew, whew. Let's go. So, what we wanted to talk about, recently the NFL has been issuing ideas and plans on how to improve minority coaches getting hired Mm. in the NFL. Teams will get extra draft picks for hiring minority coaches and general managers. That's a proposed plan. They put put that voting off on hold until the meeting that's coming up this next Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Also, teams have to interview at least two minority candidates for head coaching jobs. That did get passed, and that is a necessity. I've got a lot of things to say on that, but Anthony... I'm going to turn it over to you for first. I'm going to give you the chance to explain. What are your thoughts on this whole minority plan idea that the NFL has? Okay. Well, considering that um, our friendship relies on this, Mm -hmm. can we like say we agree or disagree at the same time? Okay. Like on a count of three? So are we going one, two, three, boom? Boom. Okay. Okay. That's what we'll do. Not like... One, One, two. two okay, yes, we can. All, All right, right so here we go. Let's go. One, Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> we just went over this. We just went over this. All right, all right, all right. I was well, just, okay, all right. One, One two, two, three, three. agree. Three. I agree. I'm glad I didn't say anything. I didn't say agree or disagree yet. You left me hanging like a loose tooth, but I agree. Only thing I kind of disagree with is an extra draft pick. But as far as like having to interview minority coaches, and I, I think I think that's great. Um, I don't think the whole extent of going getting an extra draft pick that may be a little bit too much for um, having a minority head coach. I, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that, but I don't. I think that's too much. I think they should be paid well, um, and I think they should definitely have a shot to be a head coach or a GM. Of a good team, may I add, hey. because we got brothers 
coaching the Chargers. All I'm saying is if we can get a minority coaching an yeah. elite team, like, I don't know, the Patriots. But that, see, here's <laughs> the thing, though. Like, no one gets fired from the Patriots because they're nope. so good. That is so true. So only the crappy teams have a chance to hire. That is true. So my thoughts on this, mm-hmm. I, I agree with – you kind of agree and disagree on – there's both parts to are, it. Are so we still friends? Maybe. 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 Okay. We'll have to see. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, ju- I just – I think I have an issue with this. Mm. I, I think I have an issue. I think there's a Rooney rule put into place, which is basically what this is, where it says you have to interview a minority coach uh, for a head coaching position. That just has at least one person. But there were just a lot of flaws with it because people would already have their head coach in, in mind which team want to hire. And so then they'll be like, okay, well, just hit up, uh, for instance, the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's mm-hmm. African-American. Can I say black? Is that okay? No, that's fine. All right, cool. <laughs> Just want to cl- clarify. Uh, so he's black, <laughs> right? So the thing with that, though, is if at the point from the start you don't agree that he's going to be your head coach for whatever reason, you just don't think he's going to fit your, your team needs, your system, whatever it is, you're just wasting his time. You're wasting your time trying to interview these people. But I understand what it is. I see what you're saying. What, what, what it's – it, and it's a it's a gray area. It's, it's pretty controversial to talk about, but there's that. But then there's also the opportunity of getting extra draft picks. Man, you and I are on the same page. I think that's bogus. Yeah. You know, I this YouTube channel is known for reputation of being positive, and you know, you have your negative outlets out there that just criticize players and coaches, say they suck. That's cool, or positive. But I cannot think of a single positive maybe given opportunities to minorities for having a job. Yeah. But other than that, getting extra draft picks, that's going to abuse the system. It is. It's, it's, it is. I don't, I don't understand why this was even proposed. Yeah. But it was. And the voting was put off on hold for the time being. They're having a virtual meeting. Uh, they're going to vote on that plus some extra rules uh, as far as should the onside kick be eliminated? And if you want the ball back, go for the fourth and fifth. Yeah. It's. The, they're talking about eliminating the onside kick? Eliminating the onside kick. I mean, yeah. that's fine because I can never get it right on Madden. It's probably the most frustrating thing. It's, it's I can, so broken. I've on never Madden. recovered an onside kick on Madden. It's so broken in Madden. I've never have either. Unless. No, I never no, have. It doesn't, <laughs> I never it have. Doesn't I was trying to think. It doesn't Maybe have. No yeah, but they were talking about how teams could. Instead of going for the onside kick, if you want the ball back, then you got to convert a fourth and fifteen. And if you convert that fifteen yards, you get the ball back. So it could that's, add. That's interesting. It could add an extra dynamic to, to yeah, the NFL. That's uh, really dope, actually. Yeah. So that's, you got one vote. <laughs> Too that's bad. Uh, you're not an NFL owner. Yeah. But you could be with this. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not. Because I'm a, I'm a minority. Exactly. But now that they have to interview two, you know, that increases your chances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Moving on to another topic that we want to talk about. Dak Prescott. Whoa. Mm. A lot of mm. back and forth. Wow. Negotiations with Dak Prescott and the <sighs> Dallas Cowboys. Anthony, there was a report out there that said that Dak Prescott – wanted $45 million in his last year of a five-year contract that was offered by the Dallas Cowboys. That was reported by Chris Sims, a former NFL QB, which right now I think uh, they said that report was false. Maybe, maybe it isn't. I don't know. Regardless, why do you think it's taken this long for Dak and the Cowboys to come up with a, a number for Prescott? And do you believe that he deserves so much money? No. No. Elaborate. No. <laughs> like, um, I mean, I can see how it's a smart business deal by looking at the structure of the salary caps. But as far as like, is Dak Prescott worth $40 million? Absolutely not. No. No. 
And the fact that he has a problem with 30, what was it, 35? 35 is the. He the turned down table. $35 million. Mm-hmm. I don't care what profession that you're in. $35 million should. You should take that. <laughs> but I, I, I know I know that well, wasn't there a time where Dak Prescott was being underpaid by the Cowboys? He was probably getting like two million. Yeah, and, and it was part of his rookie deal, yeah. But but forty million? Mm-hmm. That's 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 overpaying him. But as far as like if you're thinking business structure, Okay, I can see why he came, why they came up with those numbers. But as far as talent, and as far as like what he's shown us on the field, not forty million. Mm, interesting. Not forty million. That's crazy because he had a career year last year, throwing for over four thousand yards for the first time in his in his whole career. He's a good quarterback, but he's not a superstar. That's Touché. superstar is forty million. Mm-hmm. He's a good quarterback, so he should be getting paid twenty five million. Yeah, and and but. the way that Dak and his agent are are working, they're smart because this is how the market works. A lot of quarterbacks, we saw it with Kirk Cousins, for instance, someone that's not you know a lot of people wouldn't mention as a superstar quarterback, mm-hmm. but when he was a free agent going from Washington to Minnesota. They know what the market is for quarterbacks. They know that it increases every single year Mm -hmm. and that they're the best quarterback available. So you have to give them the most amount of money. And that's probably what Dak Prescott is doing. Let me ask you this. Andy Dalton just signed with the Dallas Cowboys. That's right. I forgot about that. So. I forgot about that. (laughs) Do you think it's taken this long for the Cowboys? Because Jerry Jones and management... They kind of see a future with Andy Dalton. That yeah, yeah. That that kind of threw me for a loop. I, I kind of like I felt for Dak Prescott for a minute. I was like, yeah, he's asking for a lot of money, but dang, like I really thought that they would just toss him under the bus and then go with Andy Dalton, who is terrible. If you ask, <laughs> wow. If you ask me, hot take. If you ask me, terrible. Um, but I am looking forward to seeing him dye his hair blue. So that, that'll be interesting. <laughs> um. No, but um, I did think I did think that I was kind of worried for Dak there. I thought that they were gonna throw him under the bus, um, because Dak did, Dak doesn't do anything wrong. Um, no, th- there's a lot of athletes out there that are causing trouble outside of off the field kind of thing. He's not he's not doing it. He's a good he's a good guy. He had a uh, party during quarantine, so did that that, re- that that actually happened? Yeah, this was like a month or two ago. And uh, it was big news because you're supposed to be quarantined. Yeah. And, uh, who cares? I mean, you and I, are hanging I, I, out together. I had some, I had some cousins who <laughs> <had> <laughs> did the same thing. You and I are hanging out together, but we are six feet apart. If you can't tell, like yeah. I can't even reach him right now. We're we're that far apart. And it's a hot take with, uh, you know, Andy Dalton and not being great. I think he's a great quarterback. Really? I think he's good. I don't think he's great, but I think he's good. Um, yeah. I don't think most of the the struggles with the Bengals was was. Because of Andy Dalton, I really don't. Hmm. But with that's that said, a, that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother topic. That's a whole nother thing. Yeah. But you think that? So if they were to go with Andy Dalton, you think that they would prosper? Mm. I think I don't even. They won't even prosper with what they have now. And that's that's kind of what's frustrating with me. That's what frustrating to me with the Cowboys is because the Cowboys has the most talent that I have ever seen. Oh, yeah. On a football team. And can't make it past the playoffs. Well, they had Mr. Uh, Mr. Clapp, Jason Garrett, as a head coach. <laughs> Andy Dalton or Dak Prescott, they're both good enough to win. There had to be a coaching change that m- had to be made. Mm-hmm. And they finally brought in Mike McCarthy. Yeah. Moving on to a next topic, talking about quarterbacks, staying with that topic of quarterbacks. Uh-huh. The NFL draft just passed. Yeah. And if we're talking about quarterbacks, there were... A lot of good quarterbacks coming out of that class. Love. You had Joe Burrow, Tua Tagovailoa, Jordan Love, Jacob Eason. Say to his last name again. Tagovailoa. You did that, bro. Can you do it? You did that. I did do it. To Tagovailoa. Let's call him Tua T. 
to a T. I like that. To a T. To a T. <laughs> Dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. Hey, that's a wrap, folks. <laughs> to a T. I like that. That's cool. Oh, oh man. Dude, that was. I like that. Uh, that was good. Who do you think is going to have the best career out of these rookie quarterbacks? Do you think it's going to be Joe Burrow, the number one overall pick? To a T. Jordan Love also came out of nowhere. Then you've got the uh, former Georgia quarterback, Jake Fromm and Jacob Eason. He used to go to Georgia as well. We ain't worrying about Jake Fromm. Oh, we already know our answer about Jake Fromm. So we're just going to leave it out of the conversation. (laughs) Come on, man. We ain't worrying about Jake Fromm in the NFL right now. Oh, man. He could could have been amazing with the Patriots. But, uh, yeah, your thoughts. I I say say Joe Burrow is going to have – a really, really good season. Yep. I, I don't I don't I believe in two a T. But considering that he just came off of those injuries and now is going straight into the NFL, I think that's gonna have more of a mind mm-hmm. mind effect on him than anything else. Um yeah. but I think Joe is just gonna come out and start slinging that thing out there, bro. Just doing his thing. Joe Burrow, I like him, but I only saw one year where he was relevant and was a Heisman. Now, that could mean something. That couldn't mean anything at all. I mean, statistically, the best college quarterback mm-hmm. uh, probably ever. But I think Tua Tagovailoa could surprise a lot of people. Yeah, I, I believe in him, and I want to see him prosper. I want to see him do well. But I just don't know how, how I feel about, like, if I'm answering this question, who do I think is going to have the best season? Him coming off of those injuries, not finishing his college career, mm-hmm. I just don't know. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for those injuries, I would have a different answer. I also think that Tua isn't injury prone. Now, if you were to injure your knee multiple times, someone like Will Fuller on the Texans, like injured your knee two, three, four times, and yeah, you're injury prone because that's just a weak part of your body. That's your fault. Like, yeah. that's, that's on you. Mm-hmm. But if it's just multiple injuries that are separate, like, for instance, Tua with his hip, you know, and then other injuries that he had on top of that, that's not – okay. Same thing with Carson Wentz. He injured his back. He got a concussion. That's not in the same place. That's just tough luck. Which Carson Wentz is the fifth highest paid quarterback in NFL anyway. Deservingly so, <laughs> I will say. I love Carson Wentz. Just, is he a, the fifth best quarterback? Probably not, but but he's I, the I, fifth highest paid. But Tua is that missing piece. You've got Devontae Parker at wide receiver. You've mm-hmm. got a running back now in Jordan Howard. You've got a great tight end in Mike Gesicki. And I think this team is set up to succeed. I think the Dolphins and the um, – Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in for a great season this next year. That's why I'm going to pick on Madden. Oh, my gosh. Dude. This year it was the Ravens. Next year it's going to be the Bucs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it goes. That's, that's Anthony's favorite team right now. So That's how it goes. Oh, man. Uh, man, why are we talking about Jalen? Why are we talking about Jalen? Wentz and Jalen is like Breeze and Hill. Good that's comparison. going to be crazy. Good comparison. Now, on, on that topic, do you think Jalen Hurts was taken to be an insurance policy for Carson Wentz? Or is he going to be used like Taysom Hill? And the Eagles have nothing but faith in Carson Wentz. Um, well, I'm, I, I, def, I would say that Hurts is more than an insurance policy. I, I think that they have something, some plans for Jalen to try to mix things up kind of thing. I I think it's going to be really cool to see, cool to watch. He's he's a good utility player, a running back, a wide receiver maybe, tight end, quarterback. Yeah, they'll they'll utilize him. Yeah, I love Jalen Hurts a lot. Uh, And then uh, Jordan Love was someone that came out of nowhere, uh, came up in draft boards after the the year that he had at Utah State, Yeah, taken by the Green Bay Packers, which is a little bit of drama uh, in Green Bay. Uh, Jacob Eason, taken by the Colts, uh, and then Jake Fromm by the Bills. He fell. He fell all the way to the fifth round. It was crazy because the Patriots had the opportunity. They had Fromm. The fact that Fromm fell to the fifth round is 
you know, bogus, I think. I think he should have been taken before that. Hmm. But the Patriots had pick number 159 in their hands in the fifth round, and they could have taken Jake Fromm, but they decided to pass on him. And then I believe seven or eight picks later, the Bills eventually got him because they were like, all right, he's fell. Let's just get him. But the Patriots have Stidman. Are you a Stidman believer? I am I am an Auburn fan. <laughs> War Eagle, for all those who don't know, okay? Yes. What's your answer? Um, we used to call him White Wheels back when he was in uh, at Auburn. He is pretty fast. He is. He is. Um, I think not so much do I believe in Stidman, but the fact that he learned under Tom Brady, I think he's equipped. Justin Herbert. Do you like Herbert? Huh. Yeah, I, I like him. I like him. I think he's... Very versatile. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like I don't. He wasn't. He wasn't like on my radar at first, but when I started like going back and looking at his plays and um, seeing why he was drafted, I was like, oh, this kid got some skill. Yeah, he got some skill. Good. He can move. He has a good arm. Mm -hmm. He has a good arm. And uh, I would say I'm a Herbert fan. Uh, Sherbert. You ever had Sherbert ice cream? What was the ice cream that you ate in New York? Spumoni ice cream. Spumoni. Yes, it is cherry, chocolate, and pistachio. Oh, gosh. Three, all three so together. You had, you had me in the first two, and then... Bro, it's just it's an Italian thing, bro. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta have it. You gotta have it. It is amazing. Yeah. I am Italian, by the way. Moving on. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> No one will ever know. No one will ever know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, gosh, yeah. Speaking of racism, I've been called a camel. I've been called a terrorist on the YouTube <laughs> dude, comments. This yeah, is terrible. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What? We're talking about NFL minorities. Bro. Like, Oh, yeah. my goodness. Now, I, it didn't offend me because I'm not soft. I can take it, but, you know, there's where, where's the line with... Racism, like, bro. I mean, you like, know. like, geez. I know it's, it's any happening. opportunity. I'm sure they they don't want a a black coach. <laughs> I know a black GM. What the heck? Yeah, what's wrong with you, racist? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. next thing I wanted to talk to you about is we didn't really, or at least I haven't had the chance to really speak about this on time to football because I didn't. It was all over the news, and I did not want to talk about it. But I'm going to bring it up because it involves the NFL. And we're getting to that point as we're approaching the uh, start date, September 10th, the first game of the NFL season. The Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs will open against the Houston Texans on Thursday night football. Mm. With that, though, will that happen on September 10th with everything going on with COVID-19? Nope. Ooh, don't say that. I, I, as much as I don't want it, as much as I want it to happen, I don't think it will, man. I mean, the fact that the whole NBA Finals is on is not happening. Yeah. Um, you, I mean, you, you've got a point. I kind of want it to happen because I'm getting married on September 12th. That's right. So that's if right. did I get an invitation to that? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did yeah, I did. yeah, yeah. You're you're invited. You're invited. Did I get an invitation? You're invited as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Oh, it's gonna be lit. Can't wait. If if that doesn't happen. I mean, it granted, it's 70,000 fans in Arrowhead Stadium, and if they don't want 70,000 fans, okay, I understand that. But you don't even think that they're going to have just maybe 1,000, 2,000, just no Either way, it's a spread party, bro. Fair enough. That is, it's a spread party. Yeah. 1,000 people, 70,000 people. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. It, it, I would, to, in order to say... That the first game would be happening in September it would be pretty optimistic for us to say, but considering what's in front of us and looking and looking at the NBA and how they just shut the thing down, I don't think that I don't think the NFL is going to do anything different. I hate to say it, but I I do have that doubt in my mind that it may not happen on September 10th. We live in the state of Georgia, if you couldn't tell by this. Uh, Atlanta Falcons banner that's right behind Anthony, uh, even though he is a Bucks fan. Uh, we acknowledge that. Um, New York Giants fan. 
Oh, I thought you just went with whatever team was the best team. Oh. <laughs> my that's bad. A, that, that's my, yeah, wow. I kind of set myself up for that one. You kind of did. <laughs> you kind of did. <laughs> no, but I'm a New York Giants fan until I die, okay? Oh, okay, so. And it, there's nothing more frustrating than being a New York Giants fan. I understand. So. I, I, I understand. I, I think that, uh. They're getting somewhere. No, we're not. Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, like Saquon is our only hero. That's it. Daniel Jones, I don't believe in him at all. Really? I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. I don't believe in Daniel Jones. I was oh my goodness. I was I was pissed. Am I allowed to say that? I was pissed. Yeah. I was pissed when they made that draft pick. I I was getting feeds. All week, Haskins met with New York Giants. Haskins go tells them 10 reasons why he wants to be in New York. And then when they said the New York Giants pick, Daniel from Duke. I turned my TV off, bro. But, I mean, Daniel Jones has proven right now in the NFL, at least that he's better than Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Dwayne, I, Dwayne Haskins has not uh, performed. Hey, you, you want to talk about white wheels, Daniel Jones can run. I think he can scramble. Yeah, that he game winner against your favorite team, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. <laughs> Running into the end zone. You got to stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Oh, That's man. good. That's good. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry that you're – we're. I'm a Falcons fan, so yeah, it's. I, we're not any better. You got to get rid of Matt Ryan and you'll be Oh, fine. my gosh. No. No. You're serious? Oh, you, I hear it all the time. You dude. believe in Matt Ryan still? I believe, I believe in Matt Ryan 100%. Let me, let me put this as wow. simple as possible. Wow. If you have a wow. good player, you keep the good player. That's it. That's it. But I am a I Matt don't... Ryan believer. I believe that Matt Ryan can lead us again to the promised land. And we will run the ball and not pass it and not give up a 28-3 to lead. Wow, we just got off of... Yeah, we went everywhere. We, we went everywhere. That's my bad. Sorry. That's, that's what you get for uh, listening to this podcast. Uh, but yeah, COVID-19, I, I, I hope, because I don't want my wedding to get pushed back, because that would suck, because I spent a lot of money already on booking a lot of dates. But um, yeah, we're going to have to see booking a lot of dates yeah honeymoon and oh all oh, that, all oh man stuff you know dates you were talking about my, dude, my mind I, my mind what would i i know i <laughs> i mean i see why i would but i'm not going to <laughs> my mind just went somewhere else i'm sorry i'm sorry so the nfl has just or, or teams have announced that they're having new uniforms there were seven teams that said that they were going to have new uniforms all of those uniforms have been uh, published, they've been released yeah. for everyone to see. Now we know how they look like. <laughs> so I thought let's have a little bit of fun, and I, we're going to put it up for uh, the people that are watching this on YouTube. But I'm going to hand you this iPad real quick, and I'm okay. going to show you the photos, and you're going to scroll through, and okay. you're just going to give me a grade for each uniform. You're a man of swagger. Indeed. So you would know what's best. He's not lying. So here cream. is the uniform. So start off Start off first with the. Uh, I thought you were gonna show me the uh, Rams uniform, not IKEA's uniform. Uh, oh, yeah, you saw that. You yeah, saw that's that? what you did there. There's a. Uh, this uniform is getting a lot of heat, um, but I don't think it's as ugly as people are saying it is. As I don't think it's as ugly as people make it sound, make it look. I think it. No, it's it's kind of ugly. <laughs> yeah, that's ugly, bro. Oh, man. I don't like the helmet. Like they even look like nah. Nah. I, I, why they? Why did they do the wash on the numbers on the on the jersey? Yeah, the, the little gradient. Yeah, mm. I don't like that at all. I choice. give yeah. I give that. Uh, I give this a D. Wow, Anthony gave his D. <laughs> 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 yep. Wow. To the Rams. Oh. Yeah. What's next? Oh man, the uh, the Falcons. Mm-hmm. Get- See, well, I'm. It's hard because like, if you have a visor on, 
Like every one of these people have a visor on, oh, which yeah. I mean, that makes your uniform dope. Yeah, yeah, Vi- visors are fresh. You don't get. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the longest yard. Y- yeah, you get those vibes. <laughs> yeah. uh, he broke in my nose. <laughs> yes, that's exactly <laughs> what that looks like. Yeah, I'm like they Nelly. just came at his. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Nelly running with no shoes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's exactly what that looks like. Yeah, like they're playing in a prison yard. I give that a, I give it a, I give it a, I give it a C plus. Okay, so it's better, better than it's the, better than the Rams. The, the only thing I don't like about the Rams are, are those numbers. I just don't like the font of it. Yeah, like, the font. I, I don't like the font either. You know, the IKEA Best Buy colors, whatever. You know, do your own thing. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, not a fan of those. Um. Uh, did did the Browns get a new uniform? <laughs> did the Browns Every, get a new uniform? Everybody's like... <laughs> yeah. So from 2013 to 2019, they had the uh, like the all brown with the orange uh, numbers. Okay, okay. And then yeah. they went back to their classic look. Okay. So this is what they are now. Back to the classic. I think that's clean though. I like it. Uh, I, that I that love... that's an A plus for me. Ooh, that's an A plus. Those Odell Beckham's gonna look real. Ooh. No nose. I'm so he's saying. traded. I don't know. You think? I don't know. Um, Buccaneers. Mm. It's it's better than those alarm clock numbers that they had. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that okay? I I mean, I give this a B minus. I I like the older uniforms for the Buccaneers. Okay. Okay. I, I like I like the classics more. Gotcha. You do what do you think of the all pewter the the brownish looking ones? I think those are fresh. Those are the first time that they've ever had yeah. all pewter. I I don't like it. I say I say B minus still. I'm I'm a fan. Because I, I like the pewter color on the helmet. I just think with the helmet and the uniform is just too much. But if you got the white uniform with the pewter helmet or the red uniform with the pewter helmet. I think it looks dope. So in order right now, it's the Browns, the Buccaneers, the Falcons, and the Rams. That's your order right yeah. now. Correct. Yep. Okay. You just you just got a, um, a notification saying that uh, Joe Flacco is going to the Jets. So you just caught it here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you caught it here first, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As we were filming, Joe Flacco, a veteran quarterback, is now a backup quarterback for Sam Darnold. They need yep. that backup quarterback help. Yep, they sure do. Uh, Patriots. Um. No. No, not at all. What's different about it? So these were like an alternate uniform that they just made their primary. They had different stripes on the shoulders. Yeah. Uh, but as far as how it looks now, what would you, what would you grade those? Uh, B minus. Mm. B minus. I'll give the Buccaneers a B plus, and I'll give the Patriots a B minus. Okay. So it's Browns, Bucks, Patriots, Falcons, Falcons Rams. Rams. Okay, we got a couple uh, more. So this one is uh pretty much the same uniform, but mm-hmm. you could kind of read what the details are, what the changes are. Yeah. Compared to old and and new, a, a new secondary logo on top of that as well. Yeah, I like that. I like it. I like the helmet change. I like the the Nike swoosh change. I think the Colts have a dope uniform, so you can't go wrong with blue and white. Wow. Um. So. <laughs> so what that's what I think. Um. Dang, I already gave a B plus away and a B minus. You can change them. We 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 will allow you to change. But your since. Since I don't see a full uniform, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a C plus for the Colts. For the Colts, really? Yeah, it's kind of low, bro. Look at the look at the C. <laughs> exactly. That's why I gave the, it a the, C. The, the, <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> C. The, the state of the state of Indiana. The freaking state of Indiana. Yeah. Is in that C. 
Oh, I think that's creative as heck. Bro, that's so dope. That's dope. Did you say that earlier? No. No, what the heck? Why, that should be the first thing that you point you out. You can read. You can read. That, it says it right there. I know, but all I see is the C. I'm a big picture thinker, dude. My like, bad. I don't see Indiana in this. That's dope. That's dope. Bravo. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, I'm putting this over the Patriots. Okay. So, so like, B minus. And so the Patriots have a C plus. Okay. Wait. So, are they higher than the Falcons, who I believe you said that they have a C plus? Yeah, they're higher than they're higher than the Falcons. Okay. Well, I'm talking about the Patriots. So the Falcons got a. Dang man, this is hard. This is really hard. <laughs> this is really hard. Right now, the rankings are the Browns, the a. Bucks, okay, the Colts, the Patriots, the Falcons. The Rams. The Rams. Would you say that's true? That is true. But hold on. We ain't done because we got the we got the Chargers. Got one more. We got the Chargers, which Oh my gosh. Jeez Louise. I think those are I think those are dope. Those are fresh, aren't they? Those are super fresh. Like black doesn't even make any sense, but it works. Oh, it's it's more of a navy. Oh no, it is it is. It's more of a darker, yeah, darker blue. Yeah, you're right. I think that is super clean. This is right after the Browns, though. Um, so Browns is A plus, Chargers is A minus. Okay, so so your final rankings are the Browns. Yep. The Chargers. Yep. The Bucks. Yep. Was it the Patriots? No, it was the Colts. No, the Colts. The Colts are four. The Patriots are fifth. The Falcons are sixth. Yeah. And then Best Buy brings it home. Best Buy. At seven. <laughs> so those are your uniform <laughs> rankings provided by Anthony DuVernay. <laughs> Best Buy. That's great. That's great. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it. That's all the topics I got. Dang, man. For I real? Know, that just flew by. Thanks for having me, bro. Yeah, of course, man. I, I enjoyed uh, your company. This was a blast. Yeah, this, this was, was great. Blast. We're definitely going to have to do this again. Uh, so for the people that are watching and listening at home, why don't you give a shout out to whoever, whoever you want and also Instagram handles. I know you said that you're kind of off Instagram right now. Oh, but you can follow me at I am Duvernay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there you go. With the wink. I am Duvernay Wink. Wait, you're bringing back the Instagram? I'm bringing back the Instagram. Joe Flacco and <laughs> Anthony Duvernay bringing back his Instagram. Come on, man. Can't beat that. You can't find this anywhere else. You Not can't this find this kind of content anywhere this else. This kind of coverage is bar none. <laughs> Won't find it anywhere else. But yeah, we really appreciated you joining the show, and we want to thank you guys for listening and watching as well. Yeah. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, know that we have a podcast on iTunes, so you can yeah. listen to us on the go, at the gym, on your car ride to work, which, by the way, he, who's got a job right now? No one. <laughs> so follow us on, on iTunes. Pull up your uh, podcast app on your phone. Search for Time to Football. Subscribe to us on there. <laughs> Vice versa, if you're listening to this on iTunes, search for Time to Football on YouTube. Follow us on there. Search for us on any social media platform you will find us time to football the number two all one word you're funny bro oh, dude, <laughs> you're, you're hilarious you're i feed off of you this is how it works <laughs> man this is, this is what i love with all that said we want to thank you guys again so much for tuning in and we will catch you guys later